Yes, I see. So it's just, I like the orange, too. Yeah. Okay, well, this is what I got for Hi, everybody. More I'll add to the list. Hi, everybody. It's me again. But those are tough favorites to break. Well, you got three families. Well, thank you. My dad drilled it into welcome me. To, welcome to Lounge he Academy. Made me. It's a beautiful oh, summery right. Friday night I'm here at the Hyatt Regency one. Buffalo, where we'll be yeah, this, this, streaming you know Great American Songbook songs, which is really just what's going on as a subplot to the cast of characters that we assemble around the piano for our reality lounge. Many of the running characters have become favorites of the of the home cadets who are watching. Oh, the Wegmans left that means you. Oh, yes. Yes. So I'm thinking of some And this is the part like of the show where I just make the very final arrangement. Maybe a tablespoon of orange juice. Uh, that sounds kind of funereal, but and the then, final um, technical. With me. Here we go. Final technical yeah. arrangements yeah. here, which I think are. Uh, oh, I know what I got to do. set this up so that I can read your chats. We'll be broadcasting for three hours tonight. Assuming nothing uh, black swan happens in the next three hours. Which is, which is unlikely. That's why they call it a black swan. Event. Actually, I don't know why they call it that. Okay, I'm now going to do a test comment. Yeah, we have similar This is great. Yeah. To see if my chat pops up. I don't see it. Okay, I wanted to. I wanted to see it. You're invite, invited to uh, join us via chat throughout the evening, and that's that's what I'm that's what I'm working on here. Test, and uh, doesn't doesn't seem to be working. I see Nick is here. Nice to see you, Nick. Apologize for your uh, thing not appearing on the screen. Uh, let's see. Chat. Overlay dockable. Let's see, copy link address. Let's try. Maybe they changed this uh, address on me. There's always little, little snafus. Somehow it comes together. I don't miss it as much as I thought I would. Great. But those outlets, as I thought, this is really Let's try this again. Try a little chatter, Rooney. Well, doesn't seem to be working. I'm not sure uh, what the deal is here. Chat overlay.
Streaming, streaming chat talk about you. Featured chat overlay. It's this one. It's it's good to it always helps to talk to yourself when you're fixing computers. I found. So I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on. Maybe that'll help. It usually works with just about any modern device. And I fixed it. Great. Okay. It wasn't uh, anything I pressed. It was the fact that I talked to myself while I'm fixing it is what accounts for the, the success. That's the secret. That's a hack you guys could, could try at home when your devices break. Okay. Nice to have Mr. Otto joining us. From the Virginias. I always forget which one. There's only two. I think it's the state of Virginia, but if I say that, they'll say it's the, the, the Commonwealth of Virginia. And if I get that right, then it'll be West Virginia. What about East Virginia? I'd go check the giant globe here at the Hyatt, but uh, there's actually nothing on it. Right, isn't that right, Mary? The giant globe in the lobby, it doesn't have like the names of anything on it. It's just kind of like an actual, what the world would look like if you were in space. Yeah, the actual territory boundaries are not delineated, just terrain and topography. Oh, that's a... That's a good theory. They, they were afraid of obsolescence, where the obsolescence from, from, from the shorelines changing takes so much more slow. Of course, if, we, if they, we get the climate they're promising, those will be changing too, and we'll all be underwater. On a day like today, that sounds kind of inviting. It's nice and warm, isn't it? gentlemen, the man, at the, the man in the beautiful pink jacket at the bar, mixing it up with the... That's our own Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG-TV. I like the way Ryan just goes up to the bar and orders a drink just like any, anybody else would, even though he's such a big shot. Absolutely nothing to happen tonight. My manager told me nothing's going on tonight. The F and B. You guys know what an F and B is? I always feel very hip saying that. That's food and beverage manager. The F and B. That's what the cool people call them in these hotels. His name is David. Great guy. Yeah, the first time we heard uh, an old Hyatt employee, yeah, that was 
First time we heard that expression, we thought it was slang, you know, the F and B. But it, it's not at all. We're, we're very privileged tonight to have the Lounge Academy, a very special woman. You can tell just by the way she balances that large drink. Her name, her name is Barbara. things keeps things happy and Dale Pine Dale's on his on the road again who's watching the cars Dale he's 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 in Chicago on the way to Amsterdam Amsterdam oh my god tell, you got a report from Amsterdam to tell if it's it still is lawless as it used to be when I was in high school. Supposedly you could like, there's nothing is illegal there. At least nothing that's fun is illegal. Is it still that way, Dale? And is that why you're going? To find, find out and answer these questions. Ryan is uh, in a particularly festive mood tonight, I could tell, by, because he, he ordered a Cosmopolitan in a, in a cocktail glass, mid-century cocktail glass. No. Oh yeah. Dale's going to Amsterdam. He's getting on the plane now. It's gonna be quite a trip. He's gonna have a ball in Amsterdam. He's gonna do everything he can do in Amsterdam. Who's on a plane on the way to Amsterdam? That's amazing, Dale. I don't know if I've ever known anybody that was on a plane on the way to Amsterdam. What's opposed to SOB? It's great having Barbara here. It's a show all by itself. It's a show unto itself. Ryan is tieless tonight, and he's drinking a martini glass with a Cosmo. He's, he's kind of letting the freak flag fly tonight. What did you do? Like, just tell him to take this job and shove it, and then now you're like still freewheeling? It's great, great to see, isn't it? It's what this is all about.
So our friend uh, and cadet Dale Pine is checking in. He's on an airplane, or he's he's at O'Hare, so he might not be on the plane, but he's at O'Hare, which is the, air, the airport in Chicago, right? And he's he's on the way to Amsterdam to find out if all that stuff really goes on there. Can you imagine that? Being on a plane to Amsterdam right now and watching Lounge Academy? They still have what? Pot. Well, we have that here now. We're catching up to Amsterdam. That's why this was New Amsterdam. So, so we have pot, and they had pot. So you don't have to go to Amsterdam now to just for that stuff. It's 23. In the flesh. Looking great. Pauline's mother wrote a note for Pauline tonight. I'll read it, Mrs. Solfing. Um, dear Lounge Academy and Lounge Academy cadets and administrators, little Pauline, so sorry that little Pauline won't be able to make an in-person visit this evening. She will be there next week for sure. Mary looks beautiful as always. That's from Pauline's mother writing her an excuse to miss class tonight. But she's she's going to be here next week for makeup classes. Well, we're, we're going to miss you, Pauline. We already do. But I'm glad you're with us. That's the important thing, Pauline. opposed to an SOB. Adventurous. Ryan's putting me into an adventurous mood. If he's he's letting it all hang out. I wonder if, where to put my mouse. I'll put it over here where I can't, I can't find it. conditioning on here and it's just great isn't it yeah Barbara I agree it's just it feels so comfortable Street. I ask you very confident. 
eventually each is weak. What's it all about? Elfie, is it just for the moment we live? more something even non-believers can believe in Barbara I believe in love Elfie without true love we just exist Elfie until What a great request. I haven't seen Warren in 23 in a long time. you see Thank you.
Looks like that's Dan H. up at the bar getting a drink. Funny. He usually checks in to say hi. So maybe I'll give him a come on. <laughs> to see you, Dan H. Do what? Oh, he probably knows how to do it. You mean the live streaming? Yeah. Just point the phone at you and go. You can do it with a phone. How, how do you get on the air? Oh, um, you, you could either, well, you could stream like by using Facebook, which is what we're doing right now. Um, or, you, or you could use YouTube. And then how do you get me? Oh, how do you get me? Oh, I see. Um, on my Facebook page. 
Howard Goldman on Facebook. So you can, you can tell him to go to tell him to go to howardgoldman.com and he'll see my Facebook link there. That has that has everything. All the stuff you need on right there. Yes, Dave Corbett, the the Hyatt has lovely air conditioning. It's it's just perfect. Isn't it isn't it comfortable in here, Dan H? Yeah. Yeah, and this is the atrium with the sun beating down on it. It's just very comfortable. So bring your uh, sh your shorts. theme song. She doesn't do anything halfway. Means we're going to have to play some cold quarter tonight. When somebody loves you, It's no good unless she loves you. Jimmy Van Heusen, Sammy Kahn tune. It's so much fun playing these songs for, particularly for Barbara. You know, she, she's, she not only knows these songs, but they, they mean a lot to her. That's obvious.
worried. I, that's a sad, sad thought, Bill Jenkins. These songs have a way of, in their own way, a kind of healing time. complete things. Barbara put it so well, Bill Jenkins. She said, people like the sad songs for a reason. It's because they help complete things, things that aren't finished. I think that's it. somewhere with that song. That's an original we're writing on the spot. Bill, remind me of that song, will you? It gets really quiet when we stop entertaining here at the hotel. You notice that? How quiet it gets when, when Lounge Academy stops entertaining the hotel. <laughs> It's kind of scary quiet. Somebody requested an oxymoron. I think that's what it was. I heard something that sounded kind of like that. And, and that's what this is, alone together. That's an oxymoron by Dietz and Schwartz. Martin is drinking what tub? Uh, same thing as President uh, Ryan Lysars is drinking. It looks like one, it looks like a Cosmo. She looks very comfortable holding a Cosmo. all the way regardless. That is a great song, Bill Jenkins.
Is that a Friday night? That's great. We can embarrass them. That would be fantastic. Does he have his date all lined up? I'm in that camp with you. I don't think there's such a thing as... He's too needy. She sounds like some kind of a nut. So he's got a new one he's lining up? I'll find out. Uh, you'll have to ask them the day after the prom if they're just friends. See if they're still friends. Is, is she better looking than the old girlfriend? Different. Different look? Yeah. They're both probably beautiful. Looking forward to spending the evening with him on his biggest day of his life. Well, you'll have to come for that one. You gotta keep an eye on it. You gotta chaperone. Well, I'll chaperone. He'll be thrilled. Am I blue? Am I blue? Big Blue. Watching Lounge Academy, in case you didn't know that, with 23 and Barbara and Lorna. Well, Lorna likes me to call her by her stage name, though, when we're doing TV television. 
rusty, rusty rose. Right? With a fabulous rusty rose. is something shocking now heaven knows anything goes it's hard to believe this song was written 91 years ago and it's just as poignant <laughs> she knows her stuff this goes out to Mitzi Gator. <laughs> Bill Jenkins, who's going to replace Mitzi Gator? In olden days, a glimpse of stockings was looked at as something shocking. Now heaven knows. Mitzi Gator knows. Good authors who once knew better words now only used for letter words, writing prose. Anything goes. The world's gone mad today. What's bad today? What's white today? What's night today? Silly gigolos. So although I'm not a great romancer, I know that you're bound to answer when I propose anything goes. Anything goes at Lounge Academy. Now, this song should be devoted to Dale uh, Pine tonight. He's on his he's on a plane to Amsterdam. Talk about anything goes. Dale. I think he's sleeping on the plane. He's going to need his strength. Hey, I got a text from Clyde. He said, there's going to be some different today. Clyde said, it's going to be okay tomorrow. Not, not this guy. I, I, I'm, I'm in the camp of... I remember the sample department store too, right? Of course. Imagine being. I don't want to depress any of the younger kids, but let them, let them think they got it made. The kids are out there going. Is changing at last. <laughs> I was never spellbound by a rusty rose. What is there to moon glow when love has passed? Bye. 
Then there came a midnight And the world was new Now here am I, so spellbound, darling Not by the stars, but just by you At last My love has come along Trudy, my lonely days are over And my fears It's like a song Orchestra wise. Thank you. Trudy, it's great to see you. Thanks for being with us tonight. so nice and relaxing here in the lounge tonight. There, there are no big events going on at the Hyatt this, this evening, except Christine. Thank you, Trudy. You're looking great. Oh, Donna's with us. Hi, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Or D DBV, as they call her in the industry. Her CEO name. And one of these days, the blues man's gonna be here. His name is Rich. And Richie plays the blues. He 
we're supposed to. Throw thee forward to that, Richie. How's that fancy condo? Is it air conditioned today? Everybody looks so comfortable here at the Hyatt in the air conditioning. We've got the best air conditioning in the city, I think. Thank you, Rusty. So great having you back at the Lounge Academy. It's nice having a what? Oh, isn't it something? See how Dan did that, the finesse he has. He changed his shirt. He looks fabulous. That's one of the isms of Lounge Academy is, is people changing, changing outfits each set. Mary does it. Because we're, we're clothes horses here at Lounge Academy. I'm going to change my tie every set. I like that. Because we're kind of getting known for our fashion here. Get a lot of compliments on the way the Lounge Cadets put together. I think they're talking about their clothes. That's, he bought that from the Proud Boys. It's next to the Gap. There's some real luminaries of show business out there. Joe Dinky and Stephen Graham are two of the most talented people. They could be in any industry, let alone show business industry. But there they are. It's funny how these names come up juxtaposed as if it's by happenstance. It just cannot be. Because here we got two, two famous videographers, two of my favorite videographers, and their names are juxtaposed to each other on, on the scroll. That means they're, they're, they're 
lurking around somewhere on Facebook, possibly within our reach, and even po more possibly within our grasp. Oh, I know, I know, for your eyes told me so. We were always, we were like sister and brother. Till tonight. And it was just, it was just the beginning of love. It was just the beginning, the big fat beginning, ooh, beginning of love. Thanks, everybody. What's going on out there, Patrick? Is it peaceful out there? We're the big show tonight. We're the big event. It's up to us to sell all the drinks around here in the rooms too, right?
You'll meet, you'll meet a guy at Lounge Academy. I just know it. He'll come to you. television exposure right now. The, the guys on Grand Island are going crazy. You don't want a young man? He wants 220s, yes. He wants 220s? It sounds like there's math involved in this one. 20-year-olds. He wants two 20-year-olds? Well, that's okay for your nephew. Brandon. Brandon's going to come to the... That'd be something. It's Andrea. How you doing, Andrea? It's beautiful here in the lounge tonight. It's air conditioned. It's peaceful and quiet. We're having a ball. The only thing we don't have is Andrea. How was your dinner, Ryan? six because because of the size I mean I'm full so. one of the happy hour specials available here from four to six from four to six ladies and gentlemen you can get chicken wings for eight bucks what did you get chicken fingers well they call them boneless wings Spineless, they're called spineless yeah. wings. Somewhere between a chicken nugget and a uh, uh, chicken finger. Oh. Sounds good, you're making me hungry. That's what Ryan does. He's always making sure that everything the lounge cadets are offered is up to the standards of a bar bar. for the Beatles song number nine. I don't even know that. You know, how Thomas is number 23. Oh. She wants to be number nine. Number nine? nine? Well, that's a nice number. It's my favorite number for some reason. You know, I, you know nine is not, we've, we've been reserving nine for you. <laughs> well, I was going to say, maybe if somebody died or something. Well, no, nobody died. Maybe she could take over number nine. But <laughs> we've just been saving that because it's such a nice number. We were hoarding it. We'll have to work on uh, making up an ID badge. Oh yeah, my well, God, I was thinking that. Wow. Barbara will be wild again. Beguiled again. Oh. 
starry-eyed again, taking a chance on love. Here I slide again, about to take that ride again. I'm starry-eyed again, taking a chance on love. They said the game was a frame-up, I never would try. Now I'm taking that of hearts is high things are mending now I hear the rainbows blending now we'll have that happy ending now we're taking that chance on love Joey. That was a big influential show, music wise. Hi, Amy. from Girl Crazy. Remember that show? 23, Girl Crazy. Remember when people used to be Girl Crazy? You think they still are?
discover what chemical forces flow from lover to lover. to discover what chemical forces flow from lover to lover how do we understand what touches off that tingle that sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle who cares to define Chemistry, this is what ignorant this is. So long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters, how little it matters, how little we know. This is the only tango I know. through so many keys I'm getting dizzy. What's new? How is the world treating you? You haven't changed a bit. Lovely as ever. I must admit
That song is called What's New. Too. She wants me to take a break every morning. Eight o'clock. We run. We try to run like the trains. Speaking of trains, thanks to the riders on the train going by, giving me that thumbs up. I think it was their thumb. They always do that. I, I appreciate the encouragement. They never stop. They just go by saluting. This is for Dale Pine. He's on his way to Amsterdam. He's flying through the air right now. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. You can use some exotic booze. There's a bar in far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Fly with me, let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one man band, no two is food for you. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Once you get up there, where the air is play that song in a bar when a fight breaks out. Is that what was going on a little earlier? <laughs>
This is for everybody who's ever been called crazy. If she wants them out of If she wants it, so shall it be. Shakes the bow. She moves me with her smile. The difficult I'll do right now. The impossible will take a little while. They say. was for Mari McNeil. Show business name is McNeil, of course. How is Klaus Schwab right now? That, was, that reminds me of a song. Klaus Schwab. That's such a cool name, isn't it? See, Ma Mary could say it better. Is that is that a German name? It, it has kind of a German. Mary could pronounce Klaus Schwab really good because she's German. That's right, we knew Mayor Schwab's family was, was uh, neighbors of, of Mary.
Each day that occurs, my world would be a beautiful place where we would weave such beautiful dreams. My world would wear a smile. On its face, like the man in the moon has. When the moon beams, if I rule the world, every man would say the world was his friend. There'd be happiness that no man could end. Not if I rule the world, every head would be held up high. There'd be sunshine in everyone's sky. I'm going to be the last one, Janet. I've never gotten this much attention from my high school class. I found the hack. Be the holdout. I'm not even a holdout. I'm, I'm going to go. I just like all the attention I'm getting by not, not getting my tickets till the last minute. But uh, I've always been known high school as a great procrastinator. They, they say I'm the great procrastinator. They say I'm the great procrastinator. I wait forever to buy my tickets too. It was great running into Janet at a recent class reunion. That was one of the high points for me, Janet. That was, that was probably the one five years ago. 
David Vernon's going to sing along. That's exciting. Is it warm, David, where you are? It's, it's very un-Buffalo. Like we're, I think we're getting record heat, but we love it. And here in the Hyatt, it's very, it's very comfortable. Silverstein, right, right, David Vernon, a guy that knows how to live the good life, or it could be this song too. Every song could be about Ari Silverstein, even this one, Gone with the Wind. This is not from the movie. This is not from the movie Gone with the Wind. How does that one go? It's hot as hell. Well, thank you. Is that that's I take that as a great compliment, David Vernon. Oh, the weather. Sorry, you know how it is when you're in show business. You just assume everybody's giving you compliments. Everyone's sucking up, right? Ooh, gone with the wind. Like a leaf that has blown away. still on my lips I had a lifetime of heaven on my fingertips but now all is gone gone is the rapture that thrilled my heart gone with the wind the gladness that filled my heart just, just like the flame, love burned brightly, then became an empty smoke cream that is gone, gone with the wind. There it goes with the wind. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It was, it was an epic film. They even said so themselves. Here's a song for David Vernon and Selena. David Vernon and Selena, you guys know each other. Two of the great singers I know. Thank you, Selena. Happy Friday to you. Selena, he will call again. And you will fall again. For his words of love that aren't true.
his charms so you'll run right back to his arms you love him just let him in David burning in Cause you're much too weak To fight his charms So you'll run right back To Just let him in, then you're all his again. For the great Selena and David. You never know, you never guess who I saw today. I busted already. Ooh. I see Susan Peters. Guess who I saw today? Guess who I saw? Guess who I saw today, my dear? I went to town to shop around for something new and thought I'd stop and have a bite when I was through. I looked around for some place near and it occurred to me where I had parked the car. I'd seen a most attractive French cafe and bar. It really wasn't very far. The waiter showed me to a dark secluded corner. And when my eyes became accustomed to the gloom, I saw two people at the bar who were so much in love that even I could spot it clear across a room. Guess who I saw today, my dear? I've never been so shocked before. 
I headed blindly for the door. They didn't see me passing through. Guess who I saw today? Guess who I saw today? Guess who I saw today? For crying out loud, I saw you. I saw Sue. Folks, I just dropped you. I dropped the microphone. Mic drop. The cord's on the wrong side of this mic is the problem. So I don't know why that is. It's all of a sudden. Pick up a whole drink. 
to hot flash. I think it's because I'm old fashioned, like Ryan. I'm old fashioned. things the sound of rain on that window pane the starry song that April sings this year's fancy is passing fancies Signs I holding hands, these my heart understands. I'm old fashioned, but I, I don't mind it. That's how I want to be. Joan Kern and Johnny Mercer. A couple of our ringers wrote that one. the time you miss her most of all. You ever lie awake in the middle of the night? You know what I like to do? I like to list the five most embarrassing moments of my life when I'm trying, when I can't fall asleep. And then I start, well, then I start whittling it down, like, which one of them have no more living witnesses? So, so, then, so then that minimizes them. So now it's fewer than five. And then out of the remaining ones, who's not likely to re even remember it, but I won't mention it to anybody that you know. Well, that, 
Yeah, that's a factor too. You could, you could, yeah. See, you're good at this. You've done this, haven't you? That's why all the. <laughs> that's why all these songs have so much meaning, right, David Vernon? See, now think of it in those terms. In the wee small hours of the morning, while the whole wide world is fast asleep, you lie awake and think about the girl and never, ever think of counting sheep. You'd be hers if only she would call in the wee small hours of the morning. That's the time, that's the time you miss her. Song, thank you. These love songs are nice when you when you set them up with a little personal story. <laughs> then they know you're not just you know a player piano. Not nothing against player pianos. They have feelings too. The original AI, right? Oh, they even don't even go there. Yeah, they were. They, they had paper punch computers before IBM. I've never... Oh, that's a good one, Dave. I've never been in love before. All at once it's soon. You forevermore. I've never been in love before. I thought I my heart was safe. I thought I knew the score. But this is why it's all too strange and strong. I'm full of foolish song, and now my song must pour. So believe this helpless haze I'm in. I've never really been in love before. Oh, I've never, I've never.
song for the great David Vernon. One of my favorite singers. I'm such a spontaneous, carefree soul. I always launch into an introduction before I even look to see what key the thing's going to be in. And then I skillfully or not modulate to the key that it is actually going to be in. Another good one is to go, nah, I'm going to do it in this other key. And then people think you could change keys. Little tricks of the trade you learn. Was that? Midnight in the garden of good and evil. Oh, it's a book. Oh, no. I thought it was a song. Nice tip, nice hack. Okay, well, so we'll see. How, what was the last song we did? We can try it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's an ending. And so the story went just like that. Oh, I got it reversed. <laughs> oh, I can hear David Vernon singing this song. I can't hear me singing the verse, though, because I don't know it. What good are words I say to you? They can't convey to you. What's in my heart? If you could hear, instead, the things I've left. Ooh, under the bed. What well, I'm said. She knows this. <laughs> Tell myself that I'm so lucky to be to be loving you. So lucky to be the one.
wonderful request by David Vernon. Yes. He knows the songs that you can really milk it on. got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch that clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Atom bombs, Cape Canaveral and false alarms, half the universe is up in arms, so I flip a little too until I'm holding you, what's the hassle, I'll buy the castle, we can live like kings. If you love me forever, I've got a world that, you've got a world that we, we've got a world that swings. I want to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure, fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings, cause I've got that swings. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow, tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me you're mine and I've got a world that swings. Adam bombs, Cape Canaveral and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you tell me you love me, I've got a world that we've got a world that ye we've got a world that swings. Professor. Oh, thank you. Did you just make that up? I did. Well, I don't know it, so. If you don't know it, then I made it up. That's the rule around here. Have you seen enough Murray Henry? I have, yeah. He really sucks, doesn't he? <laughs> the guy's terrible. Oh, he was amazing. How did he do it? How could he do it? He was just. He was like David Vernon, you know, it just comes out of him. Thank you, David Vernon. When David Vernon does a song, you have to check him out on YouTube. Barbara, you'll go crazy. Have you heard David Vernon? David Vernon. YouTube it. Our, our friend in the Big Apple. What a singer. Guys, he sings too. That, that was his, his uh, accompanist, David, uh, that was uh, Alex Leonard, one half of the duo. What a duo that is. No, do it, check, do yourself a favor and check it out. Look for the, look for the, my favorites in his vast repertoire. Among my favorites are the sessions he does with Alex Leonard. They're in some sort of a studio and just 
Alex is there at his grand piano, and David is up front with his mic, and there's some, some way about the, the lens on the camera, or, and the angles, and the moods, and the lighting. It looks like David's defying gravity. It looks like he's, he's leaning over, and he's just sus suspended by the majesty of the music. How did you do that, David? Did, did you have did you have wires holding you up? But those are my favorite sessions. It's a big show business night here at Lounge Academy, as, as it often is, where we entertain the entertainers. Great Gershwin tune. Nice to see you, sir. What a great honor it is tonight. We have these huge entertainers tuning in from New York City, sitting and listening from the nearby Davenports right here at the Hyatt Atrium. straight in from their fruit stand, which is getting ready for another season. Their produce stand, which is really cool. I wonder where Diane is. You did? Did you see her somewhere? probably out there with the parking valet. She loves the parking valet and he loves her.
one you ever ask yourself that? And there's never a sure your heart won't fall apart each time you hear your name I know the way I feel for you it's now or never forever if we can be the best of lovers and yet be the best of friends if we can try with every day With any luck, then, I suppose, the music never ends. The great Michelle Legrand. Can I pay you? Of course. Do something great. Do something great? OK. That's great. You're our ambassador of Lounge Academy, Barbara. I hope so. shook hands she was just Miss Jones to me then I said Miss Jones you're a girl who understands my breath all at once was scared to death all at once I own the earth and I own the sky now I've met Miss Jones and we'll keep on meeting till we die Jones and I
Miss Joe. And we'll keep on meeting till we die. Oh, Miss Jones and I. Jones Miss Jones and I Wow You know what? That's the more divine order. That's one of my favorite songs. Is it? It's one of mine too. <laughs> That's great, Barbara. Okay. You have a YouTube channel? I do. Oh my God, she's got a YouTube Listen, channel. She's amazing. Of the greatest music. Really? Oh, this Dale Williams I was telling you about, he does Sinatra and everything, and Calm and everything. I got over 200. Blonde Barb. Blonde Barb. Okay. I can't wait to check it out. of Syracuse. See Joe Rosler. He's sitting on the Davenport. I like the way he could sit there. That's what's great about the Hyatt, you know, because it hosts the greats when they come to Buffalo. And we know that when they sit on the Davenports here, they'll 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 be just they'll be just be treated like shit. <laughs> reminded me of that song. You know, these songs, they just fall off the earth if I don't hear them, you know? Here's one of my favorite Cy Coleman tunes from one of my favorite uh, Playboy after Playboy's Penthouse episodes of the 1950s, the black and white episodes. have the DV. I just watch as much as I can from, I gotta get the DV. There's a DVD of like a bunch of all the episodes. I think I've got all the good ones that I want though. I like the early ones that are like this, you know. The later ones they got like Tina Turner and stuff though. Those are, those are pretty cool too. But it's a whole, it's a different bag as they, as they 
as Huff's girlfriend would say, that's not my bag. <laughs> what was her name? distracted. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain. I've got some habits. Even Joe Rosler can't explain. I'll start for the corner. Turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and I'll daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes. change me now why can't I be more conventional people talk people stare so I try but that's not for me cause I can't see my kind of crazy world go passing me by so let people wonder let them laugh let them frown you know I love you till the moon's upside down don't you remember, I was always your clown? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? by Dan H. Thank you. That's from Playboy's Penthouse. Where Cy Coleman introduced the song to the world at one of Hap's parties. It was very exciting. He explained that it was written for Frank Sinatra. I think it was his last recording on Label. We're switching labels. I'll have to rewatch the episode again. Get all the details. Slowly. wouldn't 
Sometimes. That's what I got sometimes. <laughs> She's a dancer. just inspiration everywhere, isn't there? That's what happens when you're surrounded by creative people. I did not. Did you know that? Has, has she been holding that out from you? No, she has not. Wanted it all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without without rainy days. We wanted it always. Should have seen it in Barb's eyes. Look how our dreams came true. See how I've got me. 
See how you got you Through it all Just one thing died A little thing called love Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best You and me, Peter Allen. That's, that's going to be a thousand and one songs. Like a lovely tune. Too close to mine. Beware, my foolish heart. But sure, the lips combine, then let the fire start. the 
this time it's love, my fortune. a chair, <laughs> even though there's no one sitting there, isn't that amazing how the song follows, yeah, oh but a chair is not a house, and a house is not a home, when there's no one there. One mistake keep us apart. I'm not meant to live alone. Turn this house into a home when the no one there, when I climb the stairs and turn the key. Oh, please be there still. Great for back rack. Thanks for giving me the cue on that one, Ryan. We got this act tight. so fast it just seems like 11 hours ago I sat down
you, Mr. Lysar, as president of WBIG TV. He's heading off to another to scout out some other talent. We'll be here again in 20, in seven days, less three hours. You never know what each episode unleashes. It's different every week, isn't it? But we're going to see you at the prom in a few weeks. That's going to be, now that's going to be something. That's going to be a special edition. I am done. I'm just in the decompression chamber right now. zero drop frames tonight in the live stream for all you geeks out there. Thank you, Dan. There they go, the H's. Back to their magic little kingdom they got going there. Will you hum? I asked her the. She did that. He did. He did that. Because oh, shall will or tell, what is? How does it say it? She, what? What? Skylar. What kind Sky, of? Is that Skylar. Her, whose name is Skylar? That's the girl. That's he an un, that's an unusual name, isn't it? Skylar. He, he, Skylar. Skylar. I've heard of it. Yeah, pretty name. He rented this U-Haul van. Wow. And he made these signs, and he put them on. Van. Well, that's that's really touching. Can I haul you haul your, your ass to the prom with me? How could she say no? Skyler, will you haul my ass to the prom? He goes over. He goes over to her house. So she, he needs a ride. Well, no. It was a, you know, like they like when you you want to marry somebody and they do all these fancy things. And they, yeah. Well, that's what he did to her. It's very romantic. Right, and then he's a lounge cadet. For sure. And he's um he's a kind of a ne'er do well. I'm not gonna get in, but here here is um the second one. Oh, it worked. I think she's as good as done. Put a fork in her. <laughs> anyway. She's even got her prom shorts on. No, no. Anyway, so then I can't wait to see this, the prom gown. After seeing this, I, I will. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. I'm gonna I'm gonna party on with Barbara. <laughs>